Hey everybody and welcome to a new video. Today I'll be telling you how to speed up your Maven builds with about 30 to 40 percent. We will be using a tool called Maven Demon, which is written like this. Uh, it's a tool built by Guillaume Naudet and Peter Pelega, two Red Hat engineers. So if you don't know what a daemon is, it is basically a computer program that runs as a background process. Maven Demon was inspired by Gradle, which also uses a daemon and which is a faster build tool than Maven. So let's head over to the GitHub repo of the project and we will talk a bit about how the tool works, how to install it, and then we can compare some build times. So their GitHub repo is at github.com slash mavendemon slash mavend. I will put a link in the description of the video. When we check out the readme, we can see a bit more of how this tool works. As I mentioned, Maven Daemon works with the background process that keeps running. The client is built using Graal VM, so it's native executable, which makes it already faster than starting up the JVM itself, which Maven normally does. Next to that it starts faster, it only has to start once for each daemon and not for each build. There are some additional features down here, like Maven plugins being cached and Maven D by default using multiple CPU cores in parallel, but you can read all of that here, just know that it's fast. Now how to install it is down here. If you're on Linux or on Mac, you can use SDK Man or Homebrew to install Maven Daemon. If you don't know these tools, check them out, they are really awesome. And if you're on Windows, you can download the zip file with the executable from the page with the releases down here. I will also put the link into the description. I will be using SDK Man to install Maven Daemon, so let's open up a terminal. This process will probably take a little while, so I will skip to the end. So the installation was successful and let's verify if we installed Maven Daemon correctly by using the command maven d dash dash version. So here you see that we see the version of Apache Maven. This is an issue that's also mentioned in the readme now, but when I first installed Maven Daemon, um, I found out through the command which what was, what was happening here. So here you see that Maven D is actually alias to Maven Deploy. So we will go into the dot file of my uh, ZSH. I'm no Vim user. Uh, I know the basics, but I prefer to do this just through uh, VS Code. Uh, here you can see I have the Maven plugin uh, installed. Uh, I can simply unalias it by using the command unalias Maven D, and that should do the trick. It's also mentioned uh, right here, actually. So um, let's save this, close it up. Then we need to restart the terminal in order for it to uh, work. So there we go. I term maven d version. Starting a new daemon. So we can already tell that the, the command was different. And here we can see maven d native client uh, 0.1.0 okay now we have maven daemon installed uh, we will compare build times between regular maven and maven daemon by building a spring boot project i have on this machine so let's navigate to that folder first i will run regular maven uh, to check out the compile times using the regular clean install command so it's a pretty small project. It uh, just ran some tests. It's built in uh, a little over six seconds. Now let's see what happens when I use Maven Daemon. You use Maven Daemon just by appending the D after Maven and then just regularly using clean install or other Maven uh, commands. So it looks a bit different, but here you can see that the build time was almost cut in half. So here we see that the build time went from 6.1 seconds to about 3.3 seconds, which is, uh, in my opinion, in a pretty good time save. Uh, you might argue that this is a smaller project, so uh, it won't work on larger projects, but I've actually used Maven Daemon at work, where uh, larger projects that normally build in about a minute will build in about 35 to 40 seconds using Maven Daemon. So I think that's a really nice uh, time save, uh, considering you build projects a lot during the day so uh, it, it adds up all right that's all i wanted to show you guys uh, in this video 
uh, go check out the GitHub repo. Go uh, save yourself some time. And uh, see you in the next video.